Welcome back to RG Geek. This video was inspired by an image on Reddit I found that was uh, showing a comparison of different uh, handheld sizes, and I thought I'd put my own handhelds side by side and compare it myself. So you see in this image, you've got the PlayStation Portable, the PSP, then the PlayStation Vita, then the Retroid Pocket 3, which isn't out yet, the PAL Kitty RGB 10 Max, the Nintendo Switch Lite, the Ain Odin, or AYN Odin, that's all you need, Nintendo Switch, the Aya Neo, and the Steam Deck. Now I want to move over to some of my handhelds. You see here we have the uh, Game & Watch, the RG350M in a grip, we have a, the flat prototype for the Odin handheld that's coming out soon, we've got a Wii U gamepad, I've got one of the rare green Steam Decks, and if that's not green, then sue me, I'm colorblind. And then I've got the Game Vice with a 9.7 inch iPad Pro in it. So, I want to just give a comparison. This actually was also inspired by the fact that this thing is massive. Like, you see, you know how massive the Steam Deck is, and then you can compare it, and this is even wider and 50% uh, longer, uh, tall, I guess you'd say, than the Steam Deck. So, just want to go over some quick stats here, especially in terms of weight, because size you can see pretty well in the video. So this is 68 grams, it's a, it's a very small little handheld. Um, so with the grip, the RG350M is 338 grams, and then we're moving up. To the Odin, actually it's uh, 280 grams, but the RG350M without the grip is uh, 253 grams. So you can see that uh, the Odin actually comes in between the RG350M without a grip and with a grip. That's why I'm finding it appealing. And you go up and then you see a little bigger is the Wii U gamepad coming in at 490 grams. The Steam Deck, an entire 669 grams, and the iPad Pro with the Game Vice is a whopping 760 grams. And I've had this before, I've played a bit with it, but I just don't like it that much. I don't play it very often because um, it's just so heavy <laughs> and so unwieldy. So when I saw the Steam Deck, I was like, that's just a little lighter. And this iPad Pro with a game vice. So, I don't know. It's I think it's too big for what I want. I'm also not into PC gaming very much, so it doesn't really appeal to me. Uh, maybe we look over the screens really quick. So we go back, uh, start at the beginning here. Uh, we'll, we'll notice quickly that the three of these have four three screens. The Game & Watch here, the um, RG350, and surprisingly the iPad which is one of the worst devices for emulation, but uh, there it is. It's a 4.3 screen, funny enough. And uh, looking at the uh, resolution, oh, the other the other aspect ratio is a 16.9 for the Odin, as well as 16.9 for the Wii U, and a 16.10, which I find interesting, for the Steam Deck. So as far as screen sizes go, we have go down from here to the 2.4 inch screen up to the three and a half inch screen moving up to the six inch screen i believe that's a little bigger i think it's nintendo switch is a 5.5 inch and the oled is a seven inch from that mistaken um then we've got the wii u um it's uh, 6.2 inches uh the steam deck at seven inches and the whopping iPad at 9.7 inches, which is just way too big. So I see this, I'm like, I, I wanted to travel with it when I got the Game Vice the first time, and I was just like, no, this is just way too big to travel with. It's not practical at all. Yeah, I'm finding it interesting that the Steam Deck has a 16-10 aspect ratio, because, but that's pretty common for monitors. But if you want to play like more like console streaming or um, PSP, then the 16-9 would obviously be better. 
Uh, I guess 1610 would be closer to the uh, Game Boy Advance 3.2, although I can't imagine wanting to play Game Boy Advance on a 7-inch screen, but... Or you could also um, crop it, but you could crop it on any device. Someone will notice I have Cyberpunk here, which is funny running on the Odin, but I, I defend it. So I have the game paused, as you can see, it's a paused game. <laughs> but I'm playing it off Stadia. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, both of these devices should be really good as Stadia streaming devices. Unfortunately, the iPad isn't very good because it's missing L2... No, missing L3 and R3 and uh, like a select button, which is really unfortunate. I also want to quickly compare the resolution of each of these machines. So the gaming watch is 240p. Then we move up to the RG350M, which is 480p. The Odin is uh, 1080p. The Wii U is again down to 480p. The Game Boy is interesting being at 720p. But given how um, many resources PC games require to run, I think the 720p was actually a good option for the game deck, while 1080p makes more sense on an Android handheld. And then we've got the, the iPad with the crazy um, uh, 1536p. So 1536p is an interesting resolution. Yeah, I don't really have that much more to say. I just thought it'd be interesting to look at all these devices and... Uh, Look at them side by side, compare, because it's um, interesting seeing the um, Odin and the Steam Deck coming out and how they really look in comparison to other handhelds out there. All right, hope you have a great day. Uh, if you like this, uh, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.